We are discussing the gate physics 2018 quantum mechanics problem. Here is one marks MCQ problem. Let us state the statement. Which one of the following represents the 3p radial wave function of hydrogen atom? A0 is a Bohr radius. So that is our uh, problem. The correct option The correct radial wave function for three P is represented by option B. So the 3p radial wave function is correctly represented by option B. I'll recommend at least you should also know the wave function for 1s, 2p, 3p. So these wave function at least you should know it because these are a standard wave function which would be available in the question from hydrogen atom in various competitive exams. A table is given. We have to identify the correct experiment and its inferences. So, first, Stern garlic experiment shows the existence of electron spin. Gemans effect shows the space quantization of angular momentum. Frankert's shows the quantization of energy of electrons in atom that is experimental confirmation of proof of hydrogen th Bohr's theory. Davieser Schirmer experiment shows the wave nature of particle. So P is with 3, Q is with 4, Frankert's experiment is with 2 and S is with 1. So, which of the represent correct option? That is option C. The intrinsic permanent electric dipole moment in the ground state of hydrogen atom is always 0. So, intrinsic electric dipole moment in the ground state of hydrogen atom is always zero. So option B is our correct answer. We need not to do the calculation just for one marks problem. If H is the Hamiltonian for a particle with a mass m, the commutator of, we have to determine the value of this commutator. Let us write down the solution. We have x is equal to commutator of x h further h for free particle is defined p square by twice m the value of commutator is x comma h cap is equal to x p square by twice m equals to 1 by twice m x p square 1 can solve this as 1 by twice m x p p which can be written as 1 by twice m p commutator of x p plus commutator of x p into p 1 by twice m p i h cross plus i h cross into p that is equals to 2 i h cross p by 2 m is equals to i h cross p by m. Now let us calculate the value of x commutator x with 
h cut is equals to commutator x. Now x cross h commutator is i h cross i h cross p by m i h cross by m turn out to be x p that is my i h cross m i h cross which is minus h square by m. So the value is minus h square that is option b is correct. The ground state energy of a particle of mass m in an infinite potential value is g0. It is changed to e0 1 plus alpha into 10 k power minus 3 when there is a small potential pump of height v0 and width l by 100 as shown in figure. The value of alpha is we have to determine this value of alpha. Now let us define out the limit for the system. Won't be appearing. I would be taking it from the middle. Now this distance will be a by two, and this will be a by two. So the coordinate both these will be l by two minus a by two, and this distance from the origin will be l by two plus a by two. Now. So let us define this as x1, this as x2. The wave function, the wave function of a particle in particle in one D box is sine pi x by a that is psi 1 the ground state reaction in energy of the particle is given by is e one of one would be psi one h one psi one which is equals to integral psi one complement v zero psi one dx can be written as v zero two by l sine pi x by l dx limit from x1 to x2 square. We can further write it down v0 by l x1 to x2 1 minus cos 2 pi x by l dx. This integral is equals to v0 by l x minus l by 2 pi sine 2 pi x by l limit x1 to x2 which can be further written as v0 by l equals to a minus l by 2 pi sin 2 pi l plus a divided by 2l minus sin 2 pi L minus A divided by 2L. This term can be further verified. Uh, Simplify that L by 2 pi sine pi into pi A by L minus sine into pi into minus pi A by L. So, value of this term would be v naught 1 by 100 plus 1 by 2 pi equals to 0 0.0314 plus 0 
थ्री वन फोर इक्वल्स टू वी नॉट इंटू टेन टू दिपाव माइनस थ्री इंटू टेन प्लस टेन दिस टर्म इज इक्वल्स टू ई जीरो इंटू वन बाय ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू ट्वेंटी इंटू टेन की पाम माइनस थ्री सो वी वुड बी हैविंग ए नॉट इंटू ट्वेंटी माइनस थ्री ट्वेंटी बाय ट्वेंटी इज पॉइंट इंटू जीरो पॉइंट एट कंपेरिंग विद द गिवन करेक्टेड एनर्जी Here, you might be thinking, how does I write it? V naught is equal to E naught by twenty-five. V naught was given as pi square h square by fifty ml square, so I can write it down this as one by twenty-five into E zero into pi square h square by two ml square, which can be written as one by twenty-five E zero. So we got this relation. This an corrected energy is equal to E zero into alpha into ten to the power minus three would be equal to E zero into ten to the power minus three into zero point eight. So alpha is equal to zero point eight. Our answer for this problem, the, that is the value of alpha is zero point eight. A two-state quantum system has energy eigenvalue plus minus epsilon corresponding to the normalized state psi plus minus. At t is equal to zero, the system is in quantum state defined by this. The probability that the system will be in the same state at t is equal to h by six epsilon is. We have to determine the probability. After which the system would be again in same state. Solution: The wave function of the system at time t is equal to zero is psi t is equal to zero. One by root two, psi plus plus psi minus. The wave function of the system at time t is equal to t is. Psi of t is equal to t one by root two, or psi plus e to the power minus i epsilon t by h cut plus psi minus e to the power plus i epsilon t by h cut. Now the value of psi t. Equals to t and psi t is equals to zero is psi t is equals to t into psi t is equals to zero is one by root two psi e to the power i epsilon t by h cut. Positive plus psi, negative e to the power minus i epsilon t by h cut into one by root two psi plus plus psi minus. That is one by two e to the power i epsilon t by h cut plus e to the power minus i epsilon T by h cut that can be written as 
कॉस एफ सैलन टी बाय एच कट वेयर वी हैव यूज साइ प्लस प्लस साइ प्लस टू साइ माइनस टू साइ माइनस इक्वल टू वन टू साइ प्लस साइ माइनस क्वस टू साइ माइनस साइ प्लस इक्वल टू जीरो द प्रोबिलिटी डेट द सिस्टम will be in same state at t is equals to h plus 6 epsilon is p is equals to more psi t is equals to t psi t is equals to 0 mod square would be cos epsilon t by h cut e square which would be cos epsilon h cut what is the time time is h so that is h H by six epsilon. Here H I would be write two pi mod square epsilon epsilon H S three. So here would be a cos pi by three square. That is one by four equals to zero point two five. So our answer for this question is zero point two five.